Hey everybody, what's up? I'm not a motivational speaker, but I have a couple of things that I want to say. I know that some or most of the people that watch my videos are young adults or teenagers, and some of them are trying to find their way in this world. They're trying to figure out what they want to be. And I can understand that because I was like that for a long time. It took me a while to set a goal for myself and apply myself. I'm going to tell you a little story about myself. When I was younger, I wanted to be a professional boxer. I took up boxing and it was the only thing that I wanted to be. I loved everything about boxing. I loved the science of it. I loved everything about it, the training. I loved watching old fights, especially old fights. I was a big fan of old school boxing, anything from the 1920s to 2000. I wouldn't call myself a boxing historian. I just like what I like. But I was very involved in it and I wanted to be a professional boxer. I didn't want to be anything else. I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to go to trade school. I didn't even want to finish high school. I just wanted to box. But my world got turned upside down when I was 16. I got kicked out of school and I had to go to work. I had to take responsibility for my actions. And that's when my insecurities really started to show. And that's when I stopped trying to be a professional boxer. I gave up. I still went to the gym every now and then and worked out to keep myself in shape and try to keep myself as good as I can for self-defense. But I, get, I was just too insecure with myself. I didn't believe in myself and I just gave up after that. And for a period of time, I was very insecure. I hated myself and it showed. I worked minimum wage jobs. I had a chip on my shoulder and I had a very bad attitude. It showed. I was like that for a couple of years. But finally, it took me a while, but I finally set a goal for myself. I finally stopped hating myself and stopped being self-conscious and finally trying to achieve something so I can better myself. Now, some of you are wondering, why did I tell that story? Well, I wanted to share that. Maybe some of you can relate to it. And I also wanted to let you know where I'm coming from. I'm here to tell you, if you are confused about what you want to do with your life, if you're feeling self-conscious, if you're insecure, I understand how hard it is. Trust me, I've been through it a lot of times. Everyone is self-conscious. Some more than others, but everyone is self-conscious. It's easy to get caught up in hating yourself. It's, a, it's like a black void. It's like a black. It's darkness. And I understand how hard it is. But life is beautiful. It's fucked up. It's terrible. But there's another side to life. And you should be able to experience it. Everyone should be able to experience it. But it starts with you. No one can tell you how to love yourself. No one can teach you how to be happy with your life and to motivate you. Only you can. Set a reasonable goal and go for it. And give it 100%. Who gives a fuck if anyone looks down on you? Who gives a fuck if anyone doesn't believe you can make it? As long as you believe you can make it, then you have a chance. I'm not saying that you're going to be successful. I can't determine that. But even if you're not successful, as long as you gave it 100%, you can look back and understand that you gave it 100% and you tried. And that's better than nothing. But you might be able to make it. And how glorious, how great would it feel if you set a great goal for yourself, something that you can achieve and you do it. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to give it 100% and I'm going to do whatever I can to just achieve this goal. And my goal is to get my bachelor's degree in computer science and to start working with computers. Something that I love doing and something that I want to do for the rest of my life. There's a lot of obstacles in life. Everyone fails. Failure is not bad. It's about what you learn from failure and not to make the same mistakes and to use that to better yourself. It took me a while to realize that. I thought failure was for pussies. And, you know, I know that's very stupid, you know, but that's the way I th used to think back in the day. I thought failure was for pussies. I thought that it was for people that were losers. And boy, did I fail a lot. And that's why I was so insecure. But I'm using that to better myself. I'm using that to how to, you know, understand how to make myself a better person. And I am a better person. At least I think. I calmed down a lot. And like I said, it's kept me out of jail and it's kept me out of the fucking grave. And I'm very proud of that. So if whoever's listening to this, if no one believes in you, then I believe in you. And I know that that's, done, that's not much coming from a guy on YouTube, but it's better than nothing. And if you do believe in yourself, great. Continue to keep believing in yourself. Continue to be motivated. Con continue to go for that goal. Continue to reach for whatever goal you set. Reach for the top. And don't fucking stop. Don't stop for anything. If you reach that goal, how great will it be? And if you fail and you never reach that, 
Well, at least you tried. I'm just trying to be real about it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're automatically going to reach your goal and you're destined for success. I'm just here to tell you that if you set a reasonable goal for yourself and you can achieve it, then you have a chance and you should go for it 100%. That's what I'm doing. I hope I didn't ramble on too long and I hope that you understand the point of this video. I hope that you understand what I talked about. Have a great day.